My Genie Pro screw drive door opener has stopped working. When it first stopped, it would literally run for about a second and then reverse. I disconnected the opener from the door to make sure the door wasn't jammed in some way. That made no difference in the problem with the opener. I called my local genie service man and after looking at it, he told me the board was bad and I should buy a new opener from him. Instead, I ordered a new board from Genie and installed it. The result is that it did just the same thing with a new board. Now, after a few tests with the new board, the screw doesn't seem to turn at all. When I press the button, it sounds like the motor tries to turn the shaft and then reverse but it sounds like the shaft is stuck in some way. It doesn't actually move at all. There is a knob on the back of the motor. Is that an adjustment of some sort that could be causing the trouble? Hi and thanks for using our service. My name is XXXXXXXXXXX. I will do whatever I possibly can to give you the most accurate answer. I don't think the motor is the problem. It is rare that they go bad and I'm not sure what the knob is that you see. It sounds like you have ruled out the door or any of its components as being the problem. Disconnecting the door, it should operate smoothly and not bind anywhere. I assume that you have closely inspected the gears for any missing teeth, cracks or binding. Can you tell me if you hear any humming noise or clicking noise coming from the motor unit when you try to operate it? Does the trolley move at all? I do not know where there are any gears located. The screw shaft seems to go right into the center of the drive motor. I do hear a humming noise from the motor. Once when it tries to go one way, I can't tell which since I have the trolley disconnected, and once when it tries to reverse. The humming lasts about a second each way and then stops. The lights on the unit dim slightly when it tries to operate so I can tell it is pulling power. If it would help, I can take a picture of the back of the motor where the knob-shaped control is located. Hi Scott, I don't think I need a picture to resolve this, but thanks. These are the most common problems I see with the screw drives, the carriage assembly can wear out but this usually produces a sound like gears grinding. The coupler which is between the screw and the motor. You will hear the motor running but nothing moves. If the screw is not turning then the coupler is most likely bad. The motor can actually fail, but the opener will get louder and louder over time. Eventually it will stop working and you will hear a short hum. My guess is that you have a bad coupler. If the opener was getting louder and louder before it quit then it could be the motor that is bad. There was no apparent change in the sound of the motor prior to failure so I guess it is not motor failure if I understand what you are saying about the coupler, it is what connects the motor to the shaft and turns the shaft when the motor runs, right? However, in this case, the motor is trying mightily to turn the shaft. If the coupler were bad, wouldn't the motor turn freely and just not turn the shaft? Well that is a possibility. The motor does typically run even if the coupler is bad and that is confusing me. It is hard for me to give an exact answer without seeing the unit. You may have a bad motor after all, but I am also confused that the motor hasn't died. But then again you are getting the small hum which is a sign of a bad motor. It is not a small hum. It is the volume of sound that it always made when the motor runs. It just lasts a second or two then stops. It seems most like the screw drive is stuck somehow but I don't know how to test for that or what might be causing it. I'm going to be offline until the end. 
I will check back then and see if you have any ideas. Hi Scott. With all the information that you have provided, I'm leaning towards the coupler as being the problem. It is between the motor and the screw and I think it has either stripped or cracked and is binding the motor which then shuts off so it can protect itself. I have a link that is pretty helpful for investigating the coupler. This way you should be able to determine if it is indeed damaged and causing the problem. You can let me know what you find. Click here for the link. Thanks. I will check the coupler later this morning and let you know what I find. Great. Good luck with it. I disconnected the motor head from the screw drive. The coupler is in good condition on both ends. The screw is liberally lubricated and turns easily. The motor still makes the same sounds as though it is trying to run but is bound up and then it reverses automatically and does the same thing. So, the problem is definitely in the motor head. Obviously the motor is not dead. It tries to run but acts like something is not allowing it to turn so the same safety factors that cause it to stop slash reverse during normal operation if the door is interfered with kick in. By the way, that knob on the back of the motor that I mentioned earlier is fastened directly to the motor shaft and I can tell by turning it that the motor itself turns easily. That seems to eliminate everything but some electronic control to the motor, doesn't it? Remember that the first thing I did was replace the main board with a new one and that produced no change in the symptoms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that knob you are seeing is part of the shaft. I'm glad we have ruled out the coupler. Your explanations of the motor, especially a more recent one you wrote is leading me to believe differently about what the problem is. It is now sounding more like you have a bad RPM sensor or maybe you disrupted it when you replaced the logic board. The main clue that an RPM sensor is bad is the door will attempt to close but only travels a few inches and then suddenly reverses. It sounds like your motor is doing this in a sense. I have seen grease accidentally placed on the RPM sensor when other parts were replaced in the motor unit and causing the symptoms you are getting. A Q-tip can be used to clean off the grease if this is the case. Also verify that everything was plugged back in when you replace the board. If the sensors are clean then you probably just need a new RPM sensor. A little bit of information on the sensor, the RPM sensor is a little circuit board located at the door end of the motor shaft, inside the motor unit. If it is bad, they are relatively easy to purchase and install. The RPM sensor is what causes the door to reverse when it hits something. When the door hits something the logic board doesn't receive the pulses sent by the sensor and it reverses. When this sensor goes bad the door will start down and the logic board will not receive the electronic pulses and it will reverse, just like your motor is doing. Take the cover off the unit and you will see a black cap on the end of the shaft that rotates between infrared sensors. That small circuit board is the RPM sensor. I would try cleaning or replacing this as the next step. I feel like we have it this time. I am currently trying to locate a new sensor board since this one looks pristine. It's funny that the knob we have been discussing on and off all along is actually the slotted cap that this sensor reads from. By the way, on my opener anyway, this knob and board are located on the shaft at the end opposite the door rather than at the door end. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.